All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Kevin with Freedom Coins here, and today we have more, more half dollars. Um, as you guys have seen from all my videos lately, I have been on an absolute hot streak, and I'm talking multiple enders, multiple boxes full of 10 plus silvers, couple boxes of 20 plus silvers. I mean, silver has been insane. And to kind of put that more into perspective, I did show you in the last video or one of my last videos, everything that I found in three videos. It was like 60 some silvers or something like that. Absolutely incredible. Um, so to continue that, I thought, I thought I was done. I thought silver was done. I figured over the weekend silver was gonna dry up. It was fun while it lasted. We're wrong. I was dumping coins and I ended up finding this 1967 in the coin return. So we already have silver in the coin return at the bank. So then they said, do you want more boxes? And I was like, well, might as well. I figured silver's done anyway. This box, eh, nothing. This box though, another set of double enders. So a 67 here and a 67 here. So we are back to another box of double enders. I mean, I think I've had six boxes now lately with two or plus two two or more enders. So I mean, things are getting crazy over here, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack this one on top of this one. We'll grab the first roll and we'll start this box and kind of see, there's no way we find more than 10 silvers. I will include this one. So we need nine more to get to 10. Could it happen again, double digit silvers? Stay tuned and find out. Here we go. Two boxes stacked up. First roll right here and enders in this box. And we have one silver. Let's do it, shooting for double digits. All right, first box, roll number three. Gonna have our first silver in the rolls. Man, guys, this area, I, I did not think this box was gonna have anything in it, so having one is a huge surprise. 1967, so it's gonna be the day of 67s. We have two on the board and two in the box. So two 67s showing and two left in the rolls. I don't know, maybe this box will keep going. I am on roll number 10, and we're gonna have some silver right in the center of this one, right there. So center shot silver, uh, let's see what it is. 1966, we're getting a little older and that's got some markings on it. Looks like two Ys, two black marked Ys, interesting. Either way, it's a 40 percenter, and that adds three so far on the hunt. Roll number 16, and I tore this one off pretty quick, but we can all see the silver right here. This guy right here, another 1967. So we already have four showing, two in the box. So we have six total. We're only four away from hitting that 10 silver mark. Love to see it, guys. Love to see it. Just a couple rolls later, and this one's gonna be hiding in the very edge. That's one away from being an ender. Uh, is that, okay, that one's not silver, but this one right here is one away from being an ender. So let's see what this is. 1964. And it does have the mint mark on the back. It does have that D mint mark right there on the back, right there above my thumb. So we're going to have our first 90% or a 1964 Kennedy. Silver in my area is going strong. I love it. Absolutely love it. As you guys can kind of tell, silver slowed down for a little while, but it looks like right here in this corner, we're gonna have a nice one. Looks like maybe it's another 64 Kennedy. Ah, uh, no, never mind. That's got some junk on it, so I doubt it's a 90, but still a good silver. 1967 with some crud on it. So that looks kind of like uh, like a little bit of rust almost, maybe like some rusty water on that 67, which is weird. I don't know if I can get this and show you guys. Mm, this one right here, see this one, the 67 has got some dirt and stuff on it the same way. So maybe these boxes really are connected. The very next roll is gonna produce some silver. This one right there off my thumb. Is there anything else in this roll? All right, nothing else in the roll. And this comes out to a 1967, so another 67 for us. So that puts us at five, six, seven silvers already, and we have two in the box, that puts us at nine. One away, one away from double digit silvers. 
little drought full of silver, if I can even talk, but check this little guy hiding right there in the corner. Looks like another 40 percenter for us, and it'll be a 1968. So our first 68 of the hunt right here. All we have is 67s, a 66, and now a 68, other than our 64 here. Anything else before I let you guys go? All right, on to the next one. Very next roll is gonna have silver. I didn't catch it as soon as I was opening this, but right towards the end here, the third one, and it's kind of dark, but it's still silver. Gonna be a 1968, so back-to-back -back 68s for us. One more 68 to add to the pile, and should I say 68 one more time? I think so, that was a nice 68. All right, guys, let's keep hunting coins. Four more rolls left in the box, fifth one being this one, and we have silver right here. Again, one away from being an ender. 1969, so we have 66, 67, 68, 69. We just need that 65 to complete the 60s. But guys, that is 10 silvers on the board. We have two in the next box being enders. But on the bright side, guys, we already have 10 of them showing. Four left into this box, and then one more whole box underneath. It's getting pretty good. No more in this box, so that'll do it for this one. We did find 10 silvers, nine of them being 40s, one being a 90. And guys, I really want to save this box for a second video. But since I already told you about it, we, bet, we, better, we better open it together right now. We better make it just one video. I don't want to drag this on any farther. So since I'm doing the second one, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Just leave me a comment. Hopefully you guys are still there hanging with me. We are finding a ton of silver. Life is good, guys. Well, I forgot to tell you guys I was opening the first roll. So fun fact, I started opening the first roll and we're already gonna show silver. It's gonna be this one right here. Guys, we need to try and find a 1970. I, haven't found, I found a couple 70s, but I haven't found one in a long time. So we need to find one. This is not gonna be it. This will be a 67. But I'm just saying, guys, we really, really need to find 1970. Looks like second roll. Yeah, you probably guessed it. There is silver in this one, too. Golly, I am just kind of in disbelief at how good my area has been doing lately. Just absolutely excited about it. Another 67. So we'll set that one up here. And then we already have our two from the box. So we're at 12. Can we get 20? 10 per box? 20? That's our new goal, guys. Our new goal is 20 silvers. You guessed it right. We have more silver. Check this one out. Look at that. Yeah, right there. You can see it through the paper. Ooh, baby, that's shiny. That has to be, that has to be a 90%, right? I mean, look at that. All right, let's see what it is. I don't see a mint. Is there a mint mark? There is, so 1964 Kennedy. Ooh, baby, that's nice. All right, that's gonna be our second 64. We have one right here, so we'll put those up top so we don't lose track of them. There we go, two 64 Kennedys now. Roll number eight, and this is gonna be kind of a tough one. Um, I'm gonna have you guys look right here. There is nothing that looks silver, correct? Then if you turn this down, this one right here, see up top looks dirty, but then right here it doesn't. So this dirt kind of looks like that rust mark on that 1967. So let's, I figured I'd bring you guys in. Okay, now we can definitely see that that's gonna be silver. But like I said, from the top here, right there on top, you'd never see it. But when you roll it this way, you can definitely see it. All right, so a 1964. And again, you can definitely tell these two boxes are connected because we did find this 67 with that kind of rust watermark. And now we're finding the 64 Kennedy with the same rusty watermark on it. So that means these two boxes are definitely connected. Um, now let's just see how much, see how much silver's in here. If we're already finding it right here, and we have ender here, ender here, hopefully it all goes well for us. Just gonna be a couple rolls later and we will have silver right here, right off my thumb. Kind of going back to that 
water stains on those. It means that someone had a collection and they were storing them in a basement or something. So hopefully there's a bunch more 90s that come with it. But right now, 1969. I'm hoping to find some old silver. You know, if somebody had a collection with some stuff in there, hopefully it's some old stuff. Hopefully we can find some Benjis or some Walkers in here. About two rolls later, we're gonna have more right there. Third one in is gonna be silver for us. And it'll be another 1967. So that puts us at 16 silvers right now. We need four more to get us to our 20 mark. I'm pretty sure we can do it, guys. Anything else? All right, nothing else in there. Couple rolls later, and we definitely have a 90. That looks a little thin. So maybe it's some old silver, or it's probably just gonna be a stupid 1967 again. But that looks, that looks pretty thin, so I'm hoping for a 90 percenter. What the heck? Oh well guys, it's a 1969, so at least it's more silver, but I thought it was a little thinner, so I was really hoping it'd be a 90. But either way, we got another one to add to the board. All right, very next roll is gonna be this Ender one. I didn't find one in the roll beforehand, so I'll, as you guys have seen on my videos, I like to try and do this one-handed to try and open it live on camera for you guys. So right now, so far so good. So far so good. What can we see? All right, maybe just the ender. If I can get this open. All right, it is gonna be just the ender. How strange. All right, 1967 though. Again, like I said, it kind of has that water spark, spurt, water spot on the front, so. We have another 1967 and we'll add it to the pile of silver. Okay guys, I'm kind of getting a little nervous. Silver's slowing down a little bit because now we're right up to our next ender. So we just went four rolls without, well three rolls without silver. So the last one worked doing one handed. So let's see if it works again. Come on, we need two in this one. We need two in this one, just because we did. Uh, so far it's not looking like that. All right, nothing on that end. Man, just the ender again. How strange. What a strange box. Anyway, another 67 to add to our finds pile. All right, guys, I started getting nervous because usually when you find an ender or multiple enders, that's where the silver picks up. It's been like eight rolls since we found silver, but that's going to stop in a big way. Check this out. We're going to go with one right here off my thumb. One right here for two, one right here for three, one right there for four, and one right there for five. Five silvers in one roll. That's what I like to call a mega roll. All right, let's see the years on them. We'll lay this one out. I'm gonna zoom out too so you guys can see. Okay, 1967 on this one. That puts us at 20 silvers for the box. The next one's another, you guessed it, 67. So we'll put that up there. And then our next one in here is gonna be a 68. So that's our third one. It'll be a 68. Another 68. And then our last one is our 65. That's pretty good, guys. Now we have all the 60s and we just found five silvers in one roll. I mean, that deserves a thumbs up. I mean, seriously, guys, if you haven't thumbed this video up, you can probably just leave, because this is a good one. All right, let's see what else is in this box. Okay, a couple rolls with no silver, and then we're gonna be back at it. Not like the last set, but we will have one right down the center. And it's gonna be a 1969, so we'll put that right up here. And I don't see anything else in there, so just the 169 for us, but man, sports filling up quick. Very next roll is gonna have silver as well, guys. Right there, that third one in there. And this one is a 1966. So another 66 for the box. And that puts us at, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six times four is 24, 25, 26 silvers. Maybe, can we squeeze 30 out of this box? I opened this next roll kind of bad. Uh, this whole thing <laughs> opened with it, but there is silver down in this side of it, and it is gonna be a wrong coin. All right, another 66, and this one's actually in really good shape. 
So another 66. All right, guys. That puts us three out of three out of 30, right? Yeah. Maybe. Somebody do my math. I was getting really nervous, guys. I want to get 30. And we went through this whole row with no silver. Except for that very last row. It will have a 40 percenter. I think only one. Yep. All right, one 40 percenter. And it'll be a 69 for us. So we're pulling the 66s and 69s, which is kind of cool. So those are kind of like the less common dates that I find, at least that I find. So I'm happy to find those when I can. But guys, we need two more. We need two more in five rolls to get us to 30. Well, guys, we didn't get 30 in two boxes, but hey, this was another epic hunt. I mean, I cannot stress this to you guys enough. I have never found this much consistent silver before. Even you guys who are the old OGs of the channel, the veterans of the channel, if you will, we found some. We found a lot of silver. Since day one of my channel, we found a lot of silver. But we've never found silver this consistent. I mean, right now, I would say in my last 10 boxes, I probably have an average of eight silvers a box for my last 10 boxes. I mean, it's something to be extremely happy about. I'm very happy you guys are able to take part in all this with me. I'm happy you guys are watching all these. All those thumbs up and comments really mean a lot to me, guys. Um, just, be, just be prepared. If silver slows down, it's to be expected, guys. We can't keep these types of averages up. But just a quick run through. We did find 390s right here. And then we found the rest, the last 21, well, 25, sorry. The last 25 of them have been 40 percenter. So a very good hunt. I'm very happy to take part in this. But like I said, guys, silver is going to slow down. But I'm going to keep making videos until it does. So you guys know the deal. Stay free. Stay tuned. And I'll see you guys on the next one.